Always, it's not as big a problem now, but um, uh, with the new Bluetooth. But come on. Come on. Well, this will be nice if I do get it to work. We'll, we'll give it uh, just another second. Counting on you. Uh. Yes. Okay. Mm. Why are you giving me such trouble? Do you need to be closer? Hold on. Yes. Okay. It's there. Okay. Here we go. So, let's go here to a kind of drum beat. Patching in alpha, data, beta, theta. Come on. very happy this because I will admit I'm a very bad drum programmer. I spent so much money on drum machines over the years. I have closets full of them and I just buy the next drum machine. This is when drum machines were popular and were coming on to the scene and everyone one that was affordable. Thousands of dollars buying the next Yamaha drum or the next Roland drum or whatever and I never really was made decent beats with them at all. And so whenever I kind of got my brain waves to just glitch out for me, I was pretty happy. Uh, pretty happy about that. Um, and uh, uh, So it's another direction that I'm trying to go in. I have a number of different brainwave interfaces and I'm starting to have fun with them and study them a little bit uh, and uh, you know, try to get them to behave a little more musically and a little more predictably. Um, those are just some of the things I want to show. Some of it was part of what you saw and heard last night. Um, and, uh, um, you know, some of it not. I, I do have... Uh, yeah, so there's more to show here, but not, not related to this. What time is it exactly? Oh, so it is almost time for us to think about questions. 
So let me wrap up with um, like the concluding point in, in my thing. Uh, uh, some nice little ideas about time and how time passes and how time shifts and how it's so wonderful that we get to play with time the way that we do and that mind models are time structures and thought patterns, you know, all that. So you might want to read some of that. Um, so in the end, I basically conclude something like this. Um, how can we make C sound more fun to use and more fun to play? So that over the next 40 years, working with C sound can involve less work and more fun, more play. In time, I hope you might come to realize that for C sound to survive for the next 40 years and to thrive in your musical lifetime in the way that it has thrived in mine, we need to make C sound easy to use, easy to apply, adapt, integrate, embed, in, and utilize C sound in virtually every musical context and support of virtually any and every musical genre. Hopefully, you can use some of your time to streamline C sound, expand it, consolidate it, simplify it. Um, we can strive to make C sound work seamlessly and transparently with all sorts of sensors and controllers. You just saw me having some fun with them, right? And we can dedicate our time to make C sound runs on every new hardware platform as they come, which we have been, and hopefully find time to support and show how to use C sound, making great music with it, making great things with it, and branding it uh, and so that it works with every commercial audio workstation, sequencer, editor, and every piece of commercial audio production software that might come along. So over the next 40 years, by example, through our C-Sound-based apps and our C-Sound-driven systems and C-Sound-powered installations and our C-Sound-based music and C-Sound effects and our original and vivid C-Sounds, we continue to make sure and then show how C-Sound can and does play well with others. So that's my hope and goal so that your lifetimes can be dedicated, as mine has been, to this wonderful uh, uh, instrument um, that one will never master, but um, is certainly a beautiful instrument to dedicate uh, our life and my, my musical life to, um, because that instrument brings all of you as well. Thank you very much. Thank you.